everyone welcome back into the ocean of trigonometry in the last video we were discussing about the six ratio relationship as well as the angles today i'm going to continue with the angles of the rest three that is cot theta secant theta and cosecant theta uh yesterday we have discussed till tan theta values that is 0 uh, tan 0 is 0 tan 30 is 1 by root 3 tan 45 is 1 tan 60 is root 3 and tan 90 is infinity. Today we will be dealing with cot theta. It is same guys. Don't get confused. For cos what we have done? Reversed sign. Same for cot you have to reverse tan. That is infinity cos 0. Sorry cot 0 is infinity. Cot 30 root 3. Cot 45 1. Cot 60 1 by root 3. And cot 90 is 0. Understood? Or you can do cot theta is cos theta by sin theta. Understood? Secant theta. What is the relationship we have learned for secant? Secant theta is 1 by cos theta. So the same thing applies here. Cos 0 is 1. So 1 by 1 gives you 1. So secant 0 is 1. What do you mean by 1 by thing? Something is reciprocal. Right? So cos 30 is root 3 by 2. Secant 30 is reciprocal. So 2 by root 3. Understood? Cos 45, 1 by root 2. So secant 45 is root 2. Cos 60, 1 by 2. Secant 60 will be 2. Cos 90 is 0. Here, don't forget. Secant 90 is reciprocal of 0. That is 1 by 0. Anything by 0 is infinity. So secant 90 is infinity. Got it? Next. Cosecant theta. Cosecant theta and same. 1 by sin theta you can do or reverse secant theta. Directly write infinity 2 root 2, 2 by root 3 and 1. Understood? Okay. Sorry. Fine. So till here I will be ending this angles. Now I will say how these values are derived. Okay. So guys, let me introduce equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangle. As the name suggests, the triangle have equal sides. All three sides are equal. I am denoting the side by A. Okay. Next. Uh, according to angles of property of this triangle, sum of three angles in a triangle gives you one angle. So, as equilateral triangle, all angles are equal. So, each angle is 60 degrees. Each angle is 60 degrees. So, next, draw an altitude which bisects the opposite side. What is this altitude? So, what is this altitude? Altitude is a line drawn from the vertex to the opposite side and this line is perpendicular. So this altitude is perpendicular to this base and uh, in equilateral triangle the altitude bisects the opposite side. What is this bisects? It divides the opposite side into two equal parts. So let me name this triangle now. This is A, B, C and D. As this AD altitude bisected BC, so the length of BD and DC is A by 2. Understood? So, this is 90 degrees. This is also 90 degrees. So, applying Pythagoras theorem, it also bisects this angle. This becomes 30. Uh, redrawing this triangle that is A, B, D. This is 90 degrees. This is A. This is A by 2. This is 60 and this is 30 degrees. So what is the unknown quantity here? It is AD. How we can find AD? By Pythagoras theorem. In the first class itself I have told what is Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem is Hypotenuse square is equal to sum of squares of the remaining sides. 
सो वन मिनट ओके फाइन ए स्क्वायर हाइपोटेन्यूस इज ए सो ए स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू ए बाय टू होल स्क्वायर प्लस ए डी स्क्वायर अग्री गाइस सो व्हाट इज दिस इट इज पाइथागोरस थ्योरम ओके इफ यू आर नॉट फॉलोइंग एनीथिंग प्लीज डू वॉच माय प्रीवियस वीडियो अंडरस्टैंड सो सॉल्विंग दिस दिस इज ए स्क्वायर माइनस शिफ्ट इट so minus this will be a square by 4 is equal to ad square so this is after taking lcm this becomes 3a square by 4 understood this is ad square so what is ad now ad is root under root 3a square by 4 root 3 A root over a square is a, and root over four is two. This is most important formula for tenth inter and any one. This is altitude. The length of altitude in an equilateral triangle is root three by two times the side. Are the main the root three to root three by two times the side. Or uh, we represent altitude by p in mathematics. Okay, so you can also write side in terms of altitude. Side is two by two three times the angle. Understood? You should mark up. These are two most important formula. Understood? Fine. Now next, going to area of the equilateral triangle. What is the area of triangle? That is half base into height, right? So half. What is the base of the equilateral triangle? It is a. What is the height? Root three by two a. So what is the area of an equilateral triangle? It is root. Three by four, a square. Another important formula. Area of triangle of equilateral triangle is root three by four a. Sorry guys, you have to represent equilateral triangle by this, representing that all three sides are equal. Okay, don't forget that. Now coming to the angles. See, apply sine. To angle B, so sine sixty is equal. To. What is sine, guys? It is opposite by hypotenuse. Opposite side is two three by two a, right? By hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is a. So what will be the answer? A a cancel. Sine sixty is two three by two. Correct. Verified. Next. Cos sixty. Cos sixty is adjacent by hypotenuse. So adjacent is a by two whole by alpha hypotenuse. This is half. Verified. What is tan sixty now? Opposite by adjacent. Opposite is root three by two a and adjacent is a by two. A a cancel two two cancel remaining is two three. You can derive the rest now. Applying sine to angle A, you'll be getting sine thirty. Sine thirty opposite by hypotenuse A by two by A, which gives you half. Right? Cos thirty adjacent by hypotenuse root three by two A by A gives you three by two. Tan thirty opposite by adjacent a by two whole by root three by two a cancel cancel a a cancel two two cancel gives you one by two, root three. Just all you can do. So we have done. Uh, we have seen about sixty and thirty degrees 
in the next class or next video we will be discussing about the 45 degrees till here i'm gonna end this class so please do like share comment and subscribe our channel with us vignan academy vva understood signing off yours shrimeda jewelry bye bye